On this episode of Would Jamie Eat It? The Gut Trifecta. Come on. All right, welcome back to Would Jamie Eat It? I am Barkley, this guy right here, Jamie Rothermick. He mm -hmm. is our resident nutrition expert here on the program. And uh, we're, like you said in the intro, this is our third episode in a row, the trifecta. The of Star gut Wars health. saga of gut health. <laughs> the Star Wars saga of gut health, because you love your gut <laughs> so much, and everybody should, as you've mentioned in past episodes. The product that we're going to look at today is called, I think, Cavita. I'm not mm -hmm. exactly sure how to pronounce it. Um, that's my best guess. But there has been, the reason this product came up, and I know I've encountered the same problem that some of your clients that you've mentioned have encountered, and that is confusing this for kombucha. Yes. Because typically it is marketed or set in the same section in the grocery store mm -hmm. as kombucha. Yes. So um, maybe confusing, but tell us you're good, any challenges about it, and whether or not it's something that Jamie would eat. Okay. Well, it is not kombucha because kombucha is <clears throat> fermented sweet tea. Okay. This is not that. This is, it's fermented, but it starts with a filtered water. Okay. The good is it has live cultures. It is fermented, like I said. The one thing I really like about this product is it contains apple cider vinegar as an ingredient. Okay. It is also low in sugar, as is kombucha. Okay. So there's a lot of similarities there. The bad, it is not, there's not a whole lot wrong with it. Uh, again, I think just like we mentioned last week with the Tionic product is people use it poorly right. or in the wrong manner. Right. Uh, a couple of my clients I noticed were sipping on this throughout a workout for hydration and that's, it will hydrate you, but by the time that workout is over, you've just drank two servings of probiotics, which may mess up your stomach a little bit. Okay. Uh, the verdict is, I'll definitely include this. Now, honestly, I haven't tried this product yet. I've seen it, I've researched it, but I haven't necessarily tried it. Okay. Uh, but it is very comparable to the kombucha I already have within my diet. Okay, so not something you would add in addition to kombucha, just something kind of a, a choice on a daily yes. basis, one or the other. Correct. Okay, but you do love to say kombucha, I know that. So That's true. Probably you would lean that way. Yes. All right, there you have it. Another thumbs up from Jamie. He loves his gut, he loves his gut health, I and do. you should too. Facebook.com slash would Jamie eat it. Let us know your feedback about the program, questions, comments, and of course, any other product suggestions you have out there that you want this guy to uh, take a look at. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.